In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, we continue reading from Book 1, Laying the Foundation. And we read to you from Chapter 1, Section 7. Who wrote the course? Friend. You keep saying, He says. Is the text supposed to be Christ's words? David. The entire course seems to be written in first person singular and uses the second person. In other words, he says, I and you, and makes references to his involvement in the crucifixion, the resurrection, the apostles, etc., as it happened to him. The supposition is that Jesus is speaking. I had already studied many different paths and spiritualities when I first picked it up in California. I had no idea who wrote it. I knew nothing about it. I just picked it up and started reading the ideas. It was some time before I even happened to get to some of those passages that were speaking in first person about the crucifixion and the resurrection. All I knew was that the resonance inside me and everything I was feeling and everything I was reading, everything was guiding me towards wholeness. That was really strong, very, very strong. And then, when I got to those parts, it was kind of like, oh, who wrote this book? Of course, I already had a sense of it. Jesus as the author is symbolic. There is a whole mind that is awake. This course is coming from that whole mind. He says that he was just the first to awaken, implying that there have been many others. It is not person-specific, And it is not specifically a Christian path, just because it uses Christian terminology. I just see it as ideas, as a metaphorical ladder that is coming from a whole mind. In this world, which represents the belief in an authority problem, authors are thought to be people. Add to this the illusory concept of channeling, And then, authors are thought to be distinct identities who come through persons. Such is the case with Jesus and Helen. Verily, verily, none of this has anything to do with authoring as good authors. For to author is to create in spirit. The concept of a personal author is a contradiction in terms that has no meaning whatsoever. Zero. Zilch. Nada. This realization is the escape from fear and opens the way for remembrance of love. ACIM is form, a collection of words, and form has no author. The infinite is authored by God. The finite is unreal and has no author. The thought beyond the veil of illusion, a veil that includes the book called A Course in Miracles, is Christ, a whole, pure, perfect, abstract idea in the mind of God. The closest approximation to what this world calls author is the Holy Spirit or the voice for God. The Holy Spirit is synonymous with the voice for Christ. Forgiveness itself is an illusion, was made, not created, as a counter dream to the world of judgment. Yet, even the forms the Holy Spirit seems to take, words, angels, visionary dreams, the forgiven world, all are illusion and will dissolve when the belief in time is no longer cherished. Time, space and form have no divine author. 
God is the author of reality, and there is no author but God. Reality is eternity. God is not the author of time, space, and form. God knows not form. Text chapter 30, section 3. God authors Christ in spirit and only in spirit. The eternal creates eternally. The infinite creates infinitely. Reality is spirit. To awaken now, simply follow the instruction in the ACIM workbook. Forget this world, forget this course, and come with holy empty hands unto your God. Workbook Lesson 189, Para 7 Identity is an experience, not a concept. God, abstract spirit, authors reality. Reality, abstract spirit, is all there is, having no opposite. There is no author but God. Belief in opposites has no reality whatsoever. To author is to create in spirit. Authorship is spirit, is all meaning. Form is belief and thus nothing to do with authorship. ACIM is a symbol of undoing belief. Nothing more and nothing less. ACIM is a book, not reality. God is the author of reality and form is authorless. Words are but symbols of symbols, twice removed from reality. Reality is an experience and cannot be described, explained or defined. Reality simply is far beyond illusory beliefs and concepts and words. The ego, time belief, illusion, seems to invent a time-space cosmos, also illusion. Yet neither ego nor its cosmos have reality. The belief in ego and cosmos seem to deny reality in awareness. Yet reality is beyond belief entirely and can only be known. Like all images, ACIM is part of the realm of belief and is illusion. The ego asks who the author of ACIM is. Yet Christ has no question, being certain of identity in God. Can an illusion have an author if God authors reality and God is the only author? ACIM seems to be a collection of words, yet the words point beyond the words. The meaning of life is the experience these words point to. God is the author of reality. And I am as God created me. Words can seem to represent the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is abstract in reality. Yet, Holy Spirit seems to take the form of a voice for God with regard to the time belief, so that the time belief may be undone. The voice for God is the voice for Christ, for as creator and creation are one, abstract spirit, the voice which temporarily represents reality, is one as well. The simple message of the Holy Spirit is this. God is spirit. Christ is spirit. God authors Christ eternally. Spirit is all there is, having no opposite. There is no author but God. Forgive all symbols and accept 
our self now. For God creates spirit as spirit. Divine mind is singular. Christ is one being in the mind of God. Forgive all symbols, even Jesus, for the man was but an illusion. History has no meaning. God is now. Christ is now. All meaning is now. I am now. The holy instant is all there is to behold. Be still and know, for the past is gone and the future was but false imagination. How obvious and simple is the experiential answer of our identity in God. Therefore, lay aside foolish questions and distractions and enter into the silence of being. Certainty is an experience beyond words and questions. The I am presence is real. Issues of the world are not real. Desire reality wholly and experience all God created holy. There are no holy books or words or people or places or things. Yet the spirit of the I am is forever holy. There is nothing else to behold.